This is Kyle Juszczyk, and you're listening to Nothing But Niners. This is Charles Haley. You're listening to Nothing But Niners. So now they've got to start from deep in their end of the field, and Garrison Hurst takes advantage of it. He takes the handle, hits his right, gets to the 20. He's in the 30. Needs to cut in. He comes back up the right sideline. Breaks the third tackle. Comes down to the 30. He's down to the 20. He's down to the 10. He's down to the 5. He's down to the Sweeps down the sideline, throws off bodies like clothes after a marathon. Young, back to throw. In trouble, he's going to be sacked. No, gets away. He runs, gets away again, goes to the 40, gets away again, to the 35, cuts back at the 30, to the 20, the 50, the 10. He died. Touchdown, 49ers. Third down, Alex takes the snap. Alex looking down in post. Click, click, boom! What's going on, faithfuls? It's your boy Mike from the Nothing But Niners crew, and guys, it is time. Let me see if I can remember how to do this, man. I feel like it's been a long time. Uh, guys, we are back, man, to bring you guys another fun-filled episode. My man Breezy is going to be jumping in here in a little bit. I know he said he was currently driving home, so hopefully he jumps back in uh, as soon as he gets a chance. Uh, I, I wasn't really worried. I didn't want him to do it while he was driving because I know Breezy gets passionate about some stuff, but we're going to go through these formalities really quick, man, and we're going to have some fun, all right? So let me, let me uh, break this stuff down, okay? First and foremost, if this is your first time here on the YouTube page or you are watching this on a replay and you enjoy the show, make sure you guys subscribe, okay? Give us a thumbs up, hit that like button, and turn on notifications so you know exactly when we are going live. This is going to be your one-stop shop for mostly everything 49ers. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. We used to do breaking news videos, and we signed, we signed Robert and DJ, and I was like, yeah, I should do a breaking news video. And then I looked up his stats, and I was like, nah. Nah. But you should subscribe, though. Turn on notifications so you know exactly when we're going live. Tonight's episode, for example, did not have a start time, did not have a pre-show warning. It was just, boom, right there. And to the 65 people that are in the chat right now, they have their notifications set. That's how they're here. Make sure you join the crowd, okay? Give us a follow on some of our social media platforms. We have Twitter and Snapchat. Those handles are nothing but 9, E-R-S. That is the number 9, nothing but 9, E-R-S. Follow us there, Twitter and Snapchat. We also have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch. Those handles are nothing but Niners, spelled all the way out. No numbers in there anywhere, I promise you guys, okay? And get on down to the get down, okay? Believe it or not, there's been a little bit of a hiatus, some sluggish times here for 49ers news, so we took a step back. We went down to one show a week over here. But the Patreon, it's going. It's going, man. I'm telling you all right now. There are two episodes ready, locked and loaded to be uploaded today for you guys, man. Head on over to patreon.com slash NB9ERS. You see it on the flag over my head. You see it right down there below. NB9ERS. Just give us a search. Nothing but Niners. We are in there like swimwear on a... Never mind. I can't say what I was going to say. But we're in there, guys. We're in there. All right? Pick your wedges in public the nice way, okay? All right. Now, you guys know me. You guys know me, all right? Formerly 49ers Mike underscore NFL. Currently Mike Andrews 83. Give me a follow on my Twitter if you guys would like to. If you don't want to, I completely understand that as well. My man Breezy is going to be jumping in here. You know what, guys? Let's just let's just, let's just do an on-air call. Let's just put Breezy on the spot. Let's just call him. Let's see what he say. Let's see what he say. He probably in the middle of joining right now. He's going to curse me out. If I get yelled at, it's y'all fault. I'm going to say that y'all told me to do it. Oh, shit. He, did he block me? Yo, man. I'm blocked. B, what's up? Man, look at my dog, Brian, man. B, what's going on, bro? Hey, who said? Somebody block this guy. Block him right now. Block him right now. Get him out the chat. I don't I don't want him here. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Look, 
no, get get Ray out of here for real. Look at look at Ray's comment, y'all. I look like Rick James now. Now I look like Rick James. Rick James ain't never been this fabulous. What you talking about? Keep your feet off my couch, man. Keep your feet off my couch. Listen, guys, we got a couple of things to talk about tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and like stop beating around the bush. We're gonna get to it. Uh, we always start with the latest 49ers news, rumors. All right. Uh guys, oh shit. Let me get this banner off. Hold on. Let me figure out how to get this banner off. I wanna. Can I do the can I do oh shit? The background covered me all the way up. I want to take the banner off, but I don't want just that. All right, I'm gonna leave, I'll leave the banner on. Fine. I'll leave the banner on. Um Let's take the display name off there. All right, there we go. There we go. Latest 49ers ru rumors, okay? So we got a couple of things going on here. Uh, the latest rumor right now is Jimmy Garoppolo's trade. Now, we heard months and months ago, back in March, that the 49ers had granted permission for Jimmy Garoppolo to seek a trade. Um, GM John Lynch went out and confirmed that in an interview with, I believe, Matt Mayoko. He said, yes, they have permission to seek a trade. This was towards the end of March. Um, and this was following Jimmy's surgery. So why is this news now? Well, I'm going to read that to you guys and break it down, okay? 49ers officially have given Jimmy Garoppolo's agents, Don Yee and Carter Chow, permission to seek a trade, sources said. Garoppolo has been cleared to start practicing per team source. 49ers are still, uh, still are expected to exercise caution with him this summer. Why is this news? We knew this already. We already knew that they were seeking a trade. We already knew that the Niners were trying to trade him. I mean, like, we like what, what's happening here, right? Like, why is this news? I'm going to tell you guys why this is news. It's not the first sentence here. It has nothing to do with them having permission to seek a trade. All right? That's old news. But what is the new news? Garoppolo has been cleared to start practicing. This is a big deal. All right. Now I'm going to I'm going to pop this message down because I want to look you guys in the eye as I say this. Am I clear? <sighs> Give me up. Come on. Give me up. Look at my I got like this berry white. My face is getting all puffy, man. This is a bad look. All right. We clear. Can, all right. Can you guys see me? <sighs> Told you guys it was the second sentence, not the first sentence. That was important. there. Jimmy Garoppolo has been cleared to practice, not partially cleared. Cleared. You know when they rub the defibrillator together or they yell before they put it on your chest? Clear, right? He is clear to start practicing. This is important because just 24 hours before that tweet came out, you had you had um, Adam Schefter saying, Jimmy Garoppolo's not cleared to practice. He might be throwing 40-yard attempts in a couple of weeks. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. Now, no, no, I see Callie's question here. He says, does this mean he passed a physical? Does not mean that he already passed one, but it does mean he is capable of getting one passed, getting one done. Man, Brian, come on, man. Come on, Brian. They calling for you, bro. Get back in here, bro. Come on, B. I see you, man. But listen, man, so... He has not officially passed the physical. That will be happening in the coming days. Uh, you'll hear it from someone else more credible, I'm sure. But Jimmy Garoppolo is a full go at practice if they need him to be. That's interesting to me because that report just came out. And it kind of, why? My question is why? There's two different types of Adam Schefter's. There's two, there's, two, there's two different Adam Schefters, right? There's Adam Schefter who gets this post here. And then there's like the Ian Rappaport, right? And the Ian Rappaport, he has two different hats also, right? So Ian Rappaport will give you words that he got from his source. That's the Ian we like. We like that version of Ian Rappaport. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready down there, big bro. All right? We like the Ian Rappaport. That gives us the information from the sources. Then there's the other Ian Rappaport. And what he does is he tells you what he thinks. He tells you what he wants you to hear. He's like, oh, well, this is what I think happens. And if you watch that video closely where he was on NFL Network discussing Jimmy Garoppolo will probably be throwing 40-yard passes 
in a couple. First of all, I've never heard a report so precise before about a quarterback's throwing. Is he allowed to throw 35 yard passes, but not 40? Is he allowed to throw 38 yard passes, but not 40? Where did he get this 40 number from? I think that was the that was the Ian that tells you what he thinks. That was the rap report, not what he heard from a source. So maybe his source said, hey, Jimmy's back at practice. You might want to tell people. But then Adam Schefter comes in and gives you the real news. Hey, he's cleared to practice. There was no limitations in what he was saying. Wayne, tell me, bro, am I looking into this too much? Or are there two different reports in 24 hours? Nah, man. Like, first of all, them dudes are bosom buddies, bro. They're friends. And so I'm going to take it one step even deeper, you know, it's funny how y'all all listening to Adam Schefter all of a sudden. I thought we was banning Adam Schefter. Uh, it, it, hold on, hold on, Mike. But I thought we was banning him. But all of a sudden, he gives the right report about Jimmy Garoppolo. Everybody's his best friend. I think Ian threw. I think Ian threw him the alley oop, gave him the assist, yo, and then bam, Schefter slam dunked it, and now he got the faithful. Cause it ain't, ain't no other fan base greater than the faithful, bro. I don't know what them cowboy fans say, bro. When the faithful get on you, I'm gonna tell you how bad the faithful is, bro. <laughs> when Baldy says, "Listen, I'm just giving you my opinion, faithful. Don't don't attack me. I'm just saying, if he does this, he can do. He can be much better. You go. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a little. I think it's a little funny. I think there was one report. I like I like the way you going with it. You know, you think Ian was just, you know, because sometimes Ian, you know, when he's on the Pat McAfee show, he's in. Like, you know what I mean? But then when he works for ESPN, he's supposed to be given from what his sources say. So you're right. It could be that, yo. 40 yard passes. He's gonna be man, 40 yard passes, yo. <laughs> where, it, I, I don't even know where he got that number from. Like what 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 limits he that? Said, he he should have said he, he, he should have said he's going to be throwing deep passes and things like that. He put a number on it, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It just didn't make any sense to me. Now, I'm going to defend myself against your Rappaport take. Uh, <laughs> I know you would. Your chef to take. Your chef to take. Now, you're in the group chat with me. You know what my when I screenshot a tweet, what color it comes in. I'm going to put this tweet back up here on the, on the page now, and I'm going to show you all a tweet for me versus this one. Look at the background of this tweet. My uh -huh. Twitter is not white. Y'all heard me? My Twitter uh -huh. is not white. Because this is something uh -huh. I want to talk about here. Charles Aminihue's tweet, you see what color that is, right? Uh -huh. so if you ever see me post this, it's not something that I saw. It's not something that I put up there. This is from somebody else. But you putting it up there now. I'm putting it up there because it was sent to me just like this one here. Just like this one here. I, that was sent to me. That was not one that I screen grabbed. My screen grabs come in one way. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Okay, Mike. Uh, all right. It's, it's, just it's say, okay. When I, when I say I blacklisted somebody, I, I don't follow him anymore. I'm not one of those people who's still going to follow but not tell people. Isn't there a way to search people's followers? Like you could tell who I'm following or something like that, right? I don't know. I'm the real deal, bro. It's no big when, deal. When he, I just was, I was just making it a funny because everybody was like, "Oh, you know, remember he did that distasteful thing?" Of, you know, yeah, with Dwayne Haskins. That distasteful yeah. tweet with Dwayne Haskins, you know, death, and then it was just like, "Wow!" And now everybody's like, you know, bumping and rapping for some somebody lying or somebody getting something, whatever. And now Adam Schefter is like back on the good the good foot you know it's nah, just not, weird not with me not with me i just What's shared good, Andy? i just shared the news that was out there bro that's it i just shared the news that was out there now there is one more part of that message there um that i wanted to get to for this jimmy thing here though and that was the oh i gotta get the comment off my apologies here hold on um 49ers are still expected to exercise caution with him this summer wayne why do you think that i think that's important in this tweet <laughs> because they don't want that Mickey figure to get hurt and then they can't they can't clear the physical bro 
Like, listen, this is how I see it, okay? Jimmy Garoppolo won't show up to probably like August 25th, 6th, 7th, 8th, maybe even 29th. Right before the last day where the 49ers can trade him. Why? He ain't getting paid to practice anyway. He ain't going to practice. He ain't getting no money. Then the only way Jimmy get any penny is if he's on that roster after August 30th. Okay? And so, and so that right there, we won't see any Jimmy. We won't, we won't see him. You probably won't even hear from him. We're going to just be getting these hot takes and stories that's going to come out from Ian Rappaport and Adam Schefter, right? So that's it. Jimmy's done. Jimmy has been canned until late August. Don't even think about mid-August. Late August. August 25th through the 30th. That's when the Jimmy's takes will start coming back out. Only because the 49ers are going to have to find a way to trade him. But to answer your question, they don't want this cat nowhere near the football field until they're ready to trade him so he can clear that physical. That's the caution, bro. That's the ca- I'm driving with caution right now so I can get home and do this podcast for real, for real. And I got to ask you. You got me blocked, bro? I got you blocked? I'm at, yeah, do you have me blocked? Why would I have you blocked? All right, so the, 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 the viewers was like, yo, call Wayne. And I called you twice, and it went straight to vo- – like, it ain't – Oh, no, I was like, on the phone. With you don't have call. Wait, it's 2022. Yo, I do, but for some reason, when I'm on the phone, it's like a do not disturb. It goes straight to my voicemail. Oh, oh, you got D and D on. Yeah. Okay. I don't like talking on the phone, but if you if if I wasn't on the phone, it would come through. But when I'm on the phone, I got you. Go, yo, Mike. So I'm chilling tonight at my gig. Right? I'm eating my dinner. And this young man walked in. And I was like, oh, my son is here, bro. Yo, my son came and I got an older son, Mike. No, no, I know that. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he he flew home. He got home. And he showed it to my show. And that, man, you know we drunk it up, bro. We had a couple of drinks, man. It, It felt so good, man, to just... Just chill, my boy, man. That is phenomenal. Why are you on the show right now? Why y'all not chilling? Like, what? I don't understand. Yo, we we just we was chilling. We, we chilled for like two hours. You know what I'm I, and I ran out of money. He was drinking me dry. <laughs> he said he was drinking me dry at a gig. You was performing it. That's bad. <laughs> now nah, that's my dude. So hopefully we'll, we'll get up tomorrow because I told he's only gonna be home. He's, he's flying out to Washington soon, so that's where he's going to be stationed, somewhere in Washington, like the state. And so gotcha. uh, tomorrow he's going to, you know, check out his family with his friends. We're going to get up tomorrow um, before my uh, wedding, and we're going to have some fun. But it was really cool because I just didn't expect him to pop up, and he just popped up, yo. I was so happy. That's dope, man. I'm, I'm happy for you, man. I, I can hear I, the elation yeah. in your voice. Like, that's that's pretty dope, man. I like that. Yeah, I was cheesing like a mug. Um, I had salmon. So they, they had, like, salmon steaks. And then inside the circular part of the salmon steaks, they put two seared scallops with a mm. nice little, like, risotto on the side. Man, that jump was blay blay. Mm, that sounds great, man. It says Fort Lewis is the base in Washington. Oh, okay. Look, at y'all know everything, T man. That's what's up. Yeah. Thank you, United by Nature. Man. I definitely will do it. Now, if he comes to my crib tomorrow, he'll probably be on the morning show. I'll have him on the morning show because y'all can check him out. You know what I'm saying? You can say hi to him. Hopefully, if he not hung over, because I made him drink tonight, bro. <laughs> he didn't drive. He was with his his friends, so you know that's gotcha. a good thing. We got we got our first contribution of the night, guys. I haven't seen these hey. in a long time, man. I, I like oh hey, I go on other people's shows. I'll be watching. All right, I'll sign in from a different name or whatever, just in case I want to comment. Right, yo, I'll be seeing these contributions flying. I'll be like, yo, what did I do wrong? Yo, they, they be like, pew, 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 what, did I like? Yeah. Did, did I do something wrong that people just don't make the contributions anymore? Like, what what happened? Or maybe we've been doing it so long to be like, hey, we gave them enough. Like, we ain't that's it. We're done with them. <laughs> we are done with them. Either way, hey, look, I appreciate them all though, man. Thank y'all very much. And I can promise y'all it all goes to a good cause. So uh, it does. And, and it really I put does. most of it right back into the into the 49ers community. So uh 49ers throwback gets that first contribution of the night. He says, and I quote, 
What if Jimmy G doesn't want to be a backup? Then he won't play quarterback. Then he won't play for the Niners. <laughs> I don't think he'll play for anybody. Like, wherever he goes, he's going to have to, like, try out. Well, it's not, not try out, compete. Wrong word, I guess. Same thing, same mean. I don't know. Wherever he goes, he's going to have to compete. If he goes to, you know, Atlanta, he's going to have to compete with Mariota. If he goes, he's not going to Cleveland because they just signed Josh Rosen. Go figure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mike. Mike. Jimmy Garoppolo, <laughs> former backup. Former backup. Super Bowl season. Mike. Hmm? I, I know. It's. I don't think they. I don't think anybody want Jimmy right now, bro. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Look at you, man. I'm gonna call you Mr. Transition. I'm gonna call you Mr. Transition because you you touch right on it. You ready? Yes. You ready? Yes. Where it goes? Hold up. Where that? Where that? Uh. Interesting update. The Falcons are one of five. Not one. Mm -hmm. Not two. Not three. Not uh -huh. four. But uh -huh. five. Uh -huh. No. Teams with the call in to the 49ers regarding quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo, a source confirms. Uh -huh. What say who's you, the, Breezy? Who, who's the source? No, you you know as well as I know that sources don't get named. No. Yes. First of all, that could be Ian Rappaport. I don't trust that motherfucker no more. This and is from this is from Cam Marino. Cam Marino. I know who he's from. Is he related to Dan Marino? Nope. All then right, again, listen. his picture is in black and white. Maybe he is old. All right, now listen. Just because they called don't mean they want this cat. He didn't say they want him. He said there was interest. There's five calls. Yeah, but I said one. He said five. And I don't think anybody still wants him. Oh, you said one. I thought you said one. I'm sorry. I thought you said I said one. No, 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 no. Bro, they got injured. Did you... Just because his interest don't mean they want him. Like, look. It, like, if you want something, you know what I'm saying? You go out and get it. I watched all the teams that wanted a quarterback. They went out and did it. You know what I mean? And I'm not well, saying that this, this won't happen. Mm -hmm. I, and I understand that Jimmy Garoppolo's situation is a lot different, sort of, kind of. But at the end of the day, you know, how like – I don't think they want him right now. Can I put that in there? Like right now. They well, when you say wait, 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 wait. When you say right now, and I'm not trying to be funny at all, you mean like right now as in like by the end of this week? Or do you mean right yeah. now like Yeah, like they're gonna wait. They're they're gonna wait it out, right? And then they're gonna, you know, they're gonna see what don't look good in camp. And then they're gonna like which is good for the this is great for the 49ers, right? Yeah. Because now the 49ers can be like, oh, you oh, oh you oh you need him? Right? <laughs> and so if you need Jimmy now, now the 49ers can start start drafting drafting up the bargain a little bit. Because teams gonna well, need him. Let's let's play a game then. Let's, let's play can we play can we play a game? Yeah, we can play well, a game. I'll be parked in a couple minutes. Our guy, uh our guy double down here. Cam Marino says the Browns don't have any interest, contrary to reports. To my knowledge, the teams are the Texans. We said that. The Seahawks. We said that. The Lions. Didn't know that one. What? Can you imagine the Lions getting him hey, over gonna, Jeff, we gonna, Jared Goff? We're going we gonna to play this game. The Falcons. Uh-huh. And the Dolphins. What team did I say Jimmy was going to go to a long time ago? Come on, man. The damn Dolphins. Come on, look, man. Come look, on, man. Why? Now, why? And, and why? Well, y'all know why. Now, of all, those teams, of all those teams, I don't. I think the Dolphins make the least amount of sense. I hear eh, it, it, Now, this, this, is, this is the game we're going to play. See, we're going to play. Think it, I don't think it makes the least amount of sense if they want them. I think it makes the least amount of sense if – like we do to like you know just just from a contractual standpoint like but he would be there he would be who's their backup QB in, in Miami? And that's the game we're gonna play. Can you ah. name the backups? 
So we know right now, this is why I say it doesn't make any sense in Miami. Okay. All right. So we, we know about Tua. Now, Tua, obviously, you Tua. can't name them, so I'll tell you who it is. It's, they got Teddy Two Gloves. They got Bridgewater over there. Oh, Bridgewater is the backup. Okay. Bridgewater's the backup. Yeah, that's make- because he just became the backup, so that's why right. I don't know who it is. Right, right. He was just brought in not too long ago. So I think that of all the teams on this list, the Dolphins are the biggest reach. Not necessarily because Bridgewater doesn't stay healthy. <laughs> now this is Jimmy. That's true. Like, yeah, I was about to say that's true, but it ain't like Jimmy going to beat him out for much longer. Let's talk this about it. Funny. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go through these teams, starters and backups, and we're going to rank them in order of which team we think Jimmy has the best shot at becoming the starter on. Okay? I, I, w- I would say the Texans is number one. All right, well, let's let's take a look at the Texas depth chart. So right now they have Davis Mills as a starter. Can you name the backup? Nope. All right, well, they have two. Without looking at they They have three backups right now. Number one is mm-hmm. Kyle Allen. Okay. Remember Kyle Allen? I remember him. He's a The trash Niners trash. played Kyle Allen in week five. He was with the Panthers at the time. The yeah. Panthers were like three and two. Uh, he had won three games in a row. And he had not thrown an interception. And the Niners went in and put up 51 points on those Panthers in 2019. Yeah, yeah. You know who had a great game that game? Tico Raw. Oh, yes, he did. Coleman showed his ass in that game, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah, man. Yeah, Coleman Coleman made me put my foot in my mouth. Because I, I, I kind of gave Coleman a hard time while he was here. I ain't going to hold y'all. But I went back and watched a lot of the games from 2019. And I'm going to tell you, Wayne, that's the kind of running back we were missing in 2020. That's the kind of running back we was missing, Mike? That's yeah, the, man. That, that is who TDP is going to be. Yes, sir. I'm, tell, I'm telling you right now. That's why they you drafted mine. TDP. Okay, go ahead. All right. So, and by the way, guys, I see the super chats coming in. Keep them coming. We're going to get to them. All right. Thank you guys for the contribution. We are going to get to them. I'm not ignoring them. We're going to get back to them. Okay. So, John, I see I see you over there. I got you, man. Um, all right. So, um, I'm going to name you the rest of the ones on Houston. Okay. But Kyle Allen is listed as a top backup. A, a former 49er, Jeff Driscoll. Okay. And last uh-huh. but certainly not least, Kevin Hogan. Yeah, none of them dudes are better than Jimmy Garoppolo. Including their starter, Davis Mills. Including now, Wayne, this is, Mills. This, is the, this is the argument I get into with a lot of other – now, you you know there's a lot of 49ers content creators and everything. And Listen, bro, they are trying to convince me that Davis Mills is the guy. I'm talking Crocky. I'm talking 49ers hives. Everyone is telling me, Mike, you got Davis Mills fucked up. And I said, no, I don't. Y'all just got Jimmy Garoppolo fucked up if you think he worse than Davis Mills. <laughs> Davis Mills is not better than Jimmy Garoppolo, yo. Th- that's all I'm saying. That don't mean he can't be one day. Right. right? It's just like right yeah. now in his development, he's just not there. Like, right. he's just not better. He's not better than Jimmy right, right now. And in that division where you got to go up against Matt Ryan – if Jimmy was in that division, that's actually a great division for Jimmy to succeed that's, too. That's my point, bro. I, 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 I first time ever we agree. Ryan like, Tannehill is the best quarterback in that division, man. If Jimmy don't take his ass over there and show him what's up, that's what I'm saying. Ryan Tannehill, Trevor Lawrence, old man, old man Matt Ryan, and Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, Matt is old, bro. I don't see him doing nothing. Like he Come just on, older. Man. Come on, man. Um, no, Brian. No, Brian. I was not a Davis Mills fan during the draft. Don't do that to me, B. Don't wait do a minute, that Mike. Me. I think you were a Davis Mills fan during. No, it was Kyle Trask. It was I'm Kyle about to say, Trask. I was a Kyle Trask guy. Don't Kyle do that. Trask. I was a was Kyle, Kyle Trask, Trask guy. Trask. Come on now. Trask. Here we go. I don't like nobody from Stanford since we drafted uh Solomon what's his name Thomas. at number three? Solomon Thomas. He, I don't even look at Stanford players no more. I don't even do that. All right, B. B. B was testing me. God, I was a Kyle Trask guy, though. All right, so, all right, we got we got three more teams to do. So we just went through Houston. We did Miami. You want to go with Atlanta, the Lions, or the Seahawks now? Let's go with the uh, let's go with Atlanta because Atlanta. That's the team sense. he made. Like it makes sense that Jimmy is a candidate for that for that team because right now they're dealing with Marcus Mariota. And, and two Marcus rookies. ain't one 
and two rookies. And Marcus hasn't done shit in the NFL. I mean, other than be a, a good backup, right? That's what he mm-hmm. is. He's, he's a great backup quarterback. Oh, shit. Felipe Franks was from last year. My bad. He's not He's not a rookie. He's not a rookie. Felipe Franks was this dude that I was looking at for the 49ers to get, like, undrafted. Uh, this dude, I don't remember. All right, I'm sorry. So let me tell you who's behind Marcus Mariota. Desmond Ritter, the rookie. I think they yeah, drafted yeah. him in, like, the third or fourth round. And then yeah. Felipe Franks. All right. Okay. So my okay. guy, the guy that I I liked, Kyle uh, Kyle Trask, was drafted by them. He's not even on this roster no more. Damn. He's not even on the roster anymore. What Kyle Trask was from Florida, right? Yeah. The Gators. Yeah, he he was nice though in college. He just he couldn't put no zip on the ball. Everything was high floater. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think Jimmy's got a good shot at making this roster here, also, man. Yeah, like you've been saying that from the jump, though. Like, and, and before they made any moves, like that was that was the one team you felt like Jimmy mm. should go. Mm. You got the connection with Casero and all that type of stuff. He's oh, right. He I got the Bucks. wrong team in the division. He's right. It was the Bucks. He's absolutely right. Good Sorry, fix there, fellas. Thanks, Good fix. Good catch. I got to stop drinking these uh, sour monkeys. No promo. No promo. Y'all right. Yeah, I need more. I need more of that right there. What's that? Is that Dasani? You're not drinking Dasani water, are you? Yeah, it's the only bottle of water in my car, and I'm thirsty, bro. It was given to me at a gig. What's uh, wrong okay. with Dasani? What's Read the ingredients. Dasani? Read the ingredients out loud. I dare you. There's ingredients in water? It's not supposed to be. Read the ingredients on Dasani. It don't have any ingredients. It says they got them. Oh, medicine. they gave you the small bottle. That's why they get. They oh, here so uh-huh. purified water, magnesium sulfate, potassium chloride, salt, minerals added for taste. That's it. Why is all that shit in water? <laughs> <laughs> That's my point, bro. That's my point. Go ahead and bust down the Poland Spring now. What is that? <laughs> Go ahead. What do you say? Um, go ahead and bust it down. Let, oh, here we go. This see, this is why our shows be good. What do you say? Hello. I think you froze, Breezy. Wayne not working, y'all. He froze. But that's because this is purified. Wait, you ain't say what was in. You ain't say what was in the Poland Spring. You froze. I didn't freeze. It ain't nothing in the Poland Spring because it's coming from a spring. Yeah. This is. It's purified water, like the that's, that is ro- that. that is robot made water you drinking. Versus, guess what? Let me, let me see if I start dancing like a machine. Hold on. <laughs> oh man. Okay. All right. Ooh, that hit. Right. That hit right. This is fun, bro. All right, so you want to run inside and, and join? I'll I'll, uh, I'll hold it down, or what you, I, I don't want to walk the I don't want you to walk through the house with your phone. I'll be waking people up and shit. I'm not trying to have. Yeah, let me know. let me let me go run in the crib. Yeah, I don't I don't want the missus yelling at me or nothing like that. So I don't want the missus yelling at me either. I'll be right back. All right, man. All right, so we we're gonna let Breezy get up out of here for a little bit. And uh, what happened? Oh, I, I did the wrong thing. I got to take the. Uh, all right. So Breezy will be back. What is in my hair? Man, I got to go to bed. I'm tired, y'all. This is my third show today, guys. I hope I hope y'all appreciate what we bring in y'all. Two of the shows are on Patreon, so y'all got to get over there if y'all want to see them, okay? Um <clears throat> while Breezy is gone, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to break some news to y'all real quick. <clears throat> I'm going to tell y'all who started the rumors. Trey Lance has arm fatigue. I'm not telling y'all where I got it from or none of that. I'm going to say it, and I'm going to let it go, and we are never to speak of this again. Show me some thumbs up if y'all ready for, to find out who it is. And this is the truth. This is not, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Show me a thumbs up if y'all want this information. Who started the Trey Lance has arm fatigue rumors? I got the answer. It's not Rich Gangarello. Oh, I see some thumbs up. 
I need to see two more thumbs up. I only see I only see three thumbs up. Oh, 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 there we go. It was Parag Marathe. He, he let that information out, and they have been letting Rich Gangarello take the heat for that since then. I can't tell y'all how I know. No cap. No cap. Hey, y'all know me. Y'all know me now. If it's something I think, I'll tell y'all I think this is my theory. When I tell y'all it's something for real, it's something for real. It's something for real. All right. So let's get back to our show. While Wayne is going, what I want to do, though, I'm going to go over uh, the two the two offensive uh, teams that we talked about going for Jimmy. Uh, Marcus Mariota, Desmond Ritter, and Felipe Franks. Felipe Franks being the second-year uh, quarterback, I mean, this guy, he is, when I say raw, he is extremely, extremely raw. Uh, this dude, he, he only got in for a couple of plays. He has one interception and one rush for six yards. Uh, no passing yards, no touchdowns. He basically went in there, got sacked, uh, uh, through an interception and and had a run play. All right. Um, he was active on the Falcons for nine games last year as their backup. Again, one attempt, one interception, and then one scramble. I'm sorry, three scrambles for a, t- a total of six yards. Okay. Um, oh, my man. What's going on, Breezy? Welcome back, bro. Yes, sir. I, I broke some news while you were gone. And so. Um, there was breaking news? No, no, no. I broke some news. Oh. I broke some news. I broke some news. Um, I told them who said who started the Trey Lance arm fatigue rumors. Oh. Who was it? You see the chat? Oh, I wait. thought they said it was Rich. It was not Rich. Parag broke the joint? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, he sir. said no. Nope. Did I miss no something? Cat. No cap, huh? I missed it. What? what did yeah, you no. Say? I said it while you were going to keep the show going, and that's real, by the way. I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. So you think he broke the? the he broke I, the. I, I know he's the one who let that out. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, we got to remember that Prague is an analytics guy, and when Trey Lance first came here, what did he have on? Remember when they were making fun of him for the bra strap? He said it was me. That's what you you told him that I said that. <laughs> Mike, you ain't sh- hold on. You ain't <laughs> man. I ain't did a show with Mike in a, in a month, and he's starting he's starting stuff already. All right, I'm gonna drink this robot water and go robot ass on his ass in a minute. <laughs> Some more robot water. That was funny. That that was a good. Y'all see, y'all see how y'all see how my man Wayne do me, man. I said, why are you drinking? He said, it's the only water in my car. Man, he picks up another bottle Gosh. of Polar Spring. He thought, he thought I didn't catch that shit. He thought I didn't catch it. I saw it. I saw it. I let it go, though. I, I, I 100% let it, it go. It was the closest bottle to where my hand was when mm. I cracked it open. I was like, ain't nobody going to drink it, so let me go ahead and just drink this joint. You know what I'm saying? And it was given to me for free, but now I see why. Yes, yes. It's robot piss. Why you had to say piss, bro? Why can't it just be robot water? It was cool that water, bro. Robots can't make water? They can't make piss either, Mike. If they can't make water. All right, you're right. You're right. Slide okay. some oil to me. All right, you ready? So Don't we, we broke you like the lion from, from Wizard, from the Wiz. Here we go. Oh, okay, I see. And I got this like the, the cheek thing going on. Yeah, here, I, dog. I gotta, get, I gotta get more sleep, bro. Man. You need I've some been, courage. That's what you need. I've been, I've been Stop being a, Never mind. Oh. oh. Whew. All right. Uh so we got the Falcons out the way. Um now, which team do you think he has a better shot at making the roster as a starter? The Falcons Houston. getting out Mariota, Ritter, and uh Frank. Houston. Or, 
or Houston. Okay, you said you said Houston. All right. So then the other three teams. Let's do let's do Detroit next. Yeah, that's a dope one, right? Yeah, they have Jared Goff, Tim Boyle, and David Blow Bluff. He just had to say David Blow, didn't you? It's B L O U G H. How you say it? I would say blow. Is it blow or bluff? I would say blow, right? Because that's how you say blow. Off is spelled C O U G H. Oh, so it could be bluff. bluff. Is it bluff? But also, you say though, and it's T H O U G H. I fucking hate English. This is the dumbest fucking language ever. Ever, yo. Ever. I just had this conversation the other day. This is so frustrating. Where's the hookah mic? You know, I didn't have time to set it up. I wanted hookah tonight, too. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I, I didn't have time to set it up. I thought, uh, you know, I was trying to wait till my man Wayne got on here and everything, so... You uh, did, I, and I appreciate it. I just jumped in. Nah, man, anything for my brothers, man. You know how I am. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, what do you think there, man? Detroit. I mean... That, that, Jimmy, that's dope. I like... So I would love Jimmy to go there and beat out Jared Goff. Mmm. Mmm. Is you, Jimmy a better quarterback than Jared Goff, Wayne? Absolutely. Listen, Jimmy isn't a bad quarterback. He's just terrible for the 49ers. That's it, that's it man. That's it. That's it. That's it. it. Like, yo, listen to this. Listen to this. I'm going to give you all an example, and y'all going to crucify me for this because he's not the guy I'm, I'm about to make this comparison to. Okay? Joe Montana got replaced by Steve Young when he sat behind him. Yep. They traded Joe Montana to this, this franchise that couldn't do much of anything right called the Kansas City Chiefs. He took them right to the playoffs. The playoffs. Yep. You know why? Because he was not fit here anymore. That's it. And he went somewhere else and elevated them. Okay, so, so let me retract what I said. Mm. Jimmy's not a terrible quarterback. He's just no longer a good fit for the 49ers. And that is it. That's right. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Not that so, I care about the Jimmy stands, but I didn't. I never thought Jim. I never thought Jimmy was bad. I just mm-hmm. thought Jimmy was limited and couldn't do anymore. So uh, that that right. that's how I felt about Jimmy Garoppolo. That's why I kept saying it's time to move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. So between Detroit and Houston, his his best shot is in is in. Here's the thing. His best shot is in Houston. Houston, so far, so far it's still Houston, most. right? Yeah. Houston There's over it. the Falcons. Houston, Houston over Detroit. Detroit. Yep. All right. And definitely Houston over Miami. We talked about Miami before we looked it up. But the Miami Dolphins backup quarterbacks. Uh, so they have Tua, they have Bridgewater, and Skylar Thompson. But I don't so, think people I don't I don't know if Mike know McDaniel that. cares any gives a fly about Tua Tal- Talanoga. I, I don't think he cares about him. If if he and and if he wants to compete now, he goes and makes that trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. If he wants to win, if if I'm Mike McDaniel, I'm trading for Jimmy Garoppolo right now because I'm automatically going to be sort of somewhat a contender in that AFC East. Jimmy has to beat out quarterback. The only quarterback that's going to give Jimmy competition in that division is you know who. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I know exactly what you're saying. So if Mike McDaniel was smart, bump Tua. But the issue... Let me ask you a question. Okay. This is going to be a very direct question. Okay. It has nothing to do with making the decision that we're talking about right now. Oh, yep. Which quarterback gives your highest paid free agent acquisition, wide receiver Tyreek Hill, mm-hmm. a better season? Tua uh, or I guess Tua can throw the it's, ball down the field I'm more. I'm not saying that what's going to equate to more wins. I'm not no, saying which quarterback is better but, for the team. But 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 you can use Tyreek Hill like Debo Samuel and get him the ball underneath and let him do his damn thing with Jimmy Garoppolo. And not for nothing, I don't know if y'all been keeping up with Tyreek Hill since he left Kansas City. He got some spice for that boy, Patrick Mahomes, man. He 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 made a comment. I, I, he was on a podcast or something like that, and he was like, "Oh, they're gonna notice how bad his accuracy is because it's not me under there adjusting and, and catching him passes." And since oh, he said that, he said, he said that? that. Yes, he he said that. Since he said that, bro, I went in. Uh, you know how the NFL's been doing the the top ten game from the last year, or whatever. Yo, he said that, bro. He, 
listen to me. I'm, I wish I was making that up. I wish I, I, I thought it was like this. He'd been throwing some jabs at that boy, Pat Mahomes, man. He said, I was making it easy for him over there, bro. He said, I was making it easy for him. And I'll be honest with you, man. I went and watched this, uh, the Bills and, and, and uh, Chiefs game the NFL was replaying. There was a lot of throws where Hill was wide open, running in stride, and had to turn around and stop. Come back for him and then turn again, man. I'm just saying. Well, hey. I mean, in the Super Bowl, Tyreek Hill made a play. Ball was severely underthrown. Severely underthrown ball, man. And he went up and grabbed it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm, so, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. Damn. That's, that's a that's shot, a, though. That's a shot, shot. That's yeah. a shot. That's a sawed-off shotgun shot. Yeah. Ouch. Yo, yo, Uncle Bill been messing with me all night, bro. Yo, he called you B-Rabbit, bro, from uh, email. <laughs> So you look like the lion, though, right now from... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. All right. So uh, the last team that we have to compare it to here um, is going to be the Seattle Seahawks and their depth chart. See, he has a shot. So, so, so now let's talk Gino, about that. You know, Smith, Drew Locke, and Jacob Eason. Yeah. So... Uh... Listen... These teams all could you – I think here's the biggest take. We're going we're gonna to finish our exercise and we're going to get to these super chats because they're, they're piling up here. Uh, and then we're going to get to our other topics and get out of here. We're going to go to bed. I'm not going to keep you all night. I know you've been gigging and singing and everything. Thank uh, you. The, the exercise that we're trying to do now is of the five teams that Mr. Marino listed, which one is Jimmy Garoppolo most likely to win the starting position at? He listed the Texans, the Seahawks, the Lions, Falcons, and the Dolphins. So as as of this moment, before Wayne answers this question, we have the Texans, but a close second is the Lions, right? Yeah, but the Seahawks, he got he no, the close second was the Falcons. Oh, oh, you thought Jared Goff was fitting them off like that? I I think he has I think he has a better shot beating out Mariota than Jared Goff. Oh, okay, okay. And then Felipe Franks and Desmond Ritter. Now Desmond Ritter was a third round pick this year. He's right. not going to beat out Jimmy Garoppolo, right? A and third round pick. Ain't, if, if if the third overall pick couldn't do it, the third round pick. Ain't you get what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes perfect okay. sense. So and now we're talking about Seattle, yo. What's good, B? Brian's in the chat. Oh yeah, yeah. My man been in here all night, man. That's my dude. Um. Okay, hold on. I. Geno Smith <laughs> and 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 what's his name? Drew Locke. What's his name? Geno Smith, Drew Locke, yeah. Yeah, that like and I don't care about the Pierce, the other guy. Look, Jimmy Eason, I believe it was. Yeah, J- J- Jacob Eason. Jimmy yeah. can go there and be the starter. Immediately. Immediately. Now, did the Niners trade him there though? That, see, no, 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 see, that's not the question. No, 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 no. We won't. We won't stray. We won't stray. We want to know which team Jimmy can go to and be has the best has the best shot. The, of be- the, the best shot is Houston. The second best shot is the Seattle Seahawks. Let's go. That's what I want to hear. And then I would go with Atlanta, and then I would go with um, Lions. The Lions and then whatever that other team is, I forgot. And then Miami. Oh, they got Tua and Bridgewater. Right, because they got Tua and Bridgewater. Uh, did you know that did you know that Bridgewater's never thrown more than 15 touchdowns in a season before? And he just did that with the Panthers two years ago. Yeah, but I mean that was his healthiest season. That in his first season with Minnesota. 15 touchdowns in a season, bro. Mm. That's his high. That's his. That's up here. For Jimmy sure. has more touchdowns than all the quarterbacks you listed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's all, that was what our exercise was. And, and, and that's my thing, Mike. Jimmy's a starter, but he's just no longer a fit for, for the 49ers. Exactly. Exactly. And we as 49er fans have to let our personal bias go. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we understand that we're over him. But that don't mean the rest of the league is. So uh, John V had a super chat in here. He says, Mike and Breezy, could those calls include conversations regarding the money and if San Francisco would pay a portion of it? This is a good question right now. Jimmy Garoppolo was yeah. on the books for over 20, $24 million. 25, yeah. Are y'all taking some of this? No. 
I'm not taking any of it. But those conver- he those conversations could be what's going on, right? Their 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 interest is there. Hey man, yeah, Mike. Uh, you know what? Let's do it like this. Hold on. Hey Mike. Yo. Listen, man. Um, I see you guys got Jimmy. Um, I, he he's twenty five and a half mil. Um, you know. You know. Um, would you be willing to eat? You know, maybe I w- I would say ten of that. And, and we'll we'll give you a we'll give you a fifth round pick. Ah, uh, yeah. So if we're gonna pay ten million dollars, a fifth round pick is just not enough for that. That that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. But here, here's what I will tell you though: um, none of his money is guaranteed. So if this trade were to go down, our recommendation would be just renegotiate a deal before he signs, before he accepts the trade. He would rather have some guaranteed money. Than no guaranteed money at yeah, all. Yeah, well, how how confident are you that he's going to pass this physical? Oh, 100 percent Uh, you know, between you and I and nobody else, Jimmy's been cleared and throwing for over four four weeks now. Um, okay. so this is just something that he he'll he'll pass the physical. And hey, look, you know the rules. If he doesn't, send him back over here. We'll take care of the rest. So how about you just eat the seven and a half million? And the we'll seven give and a half million is only fourth round pick. That, that's only injury guaranteed. Again, he has no money guaranteed. He's going to want a new contract. You guys oh, yeah. are going to have to negotiate something. He, he has no money guaranteed. He doesn't want to keep this contract. And see, hang up. And that that's what the 49ers have in their favor, yeah. right? The fact that his Jimmy has been paid every penny, guaranteed penny, right? Mm-hmm. And the only way Jimmy will get any of this $25.5 million that he's still on the books for, don't get it twisted. Like, even though it's not guaranteed, he still will get paid up to that amount of money if he makes this roster, right? And if he stays here weekly, right? So you take 25 and a half by divided by, what, 17 games? You know what I'm saying? That's how much he'll make per game. So right. John's will be right, but I don't think any, I don't think the 49ers is eating any of it. Yeah. Yeah, they, it doesn't make any sense for the Niners to take on any of this deal. Because here's the thing. The fact of the matter is we can cut them. So here, I wish we had to play this out on, on your phone call. But here's the thing. We can cut them, and then he chooses who he goes to. Right. As opposed to if you really want them, you trade them, you work out a deal. But when this is not going to cost us anything when this is all said and done. Well, the 49ers aren't going to – the 49ers want to recoup something. So he he's going to get – the 49ers are going to do their best, their due diligence in getting some type of a trade for him. If they got five – now, we've been hearing people call about Jimmy Garoppolo for a long time, not just this 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 uh, tweet from Marino. You know, before the, end, before the surgery, teams were inquiring about Jimmy. Throughout the season, teams were inquiring about Jimmy. But at the end of the day, like, it's going to come down to what John wants for Jimmy Garoppolo. And so – we're hoping that it's not too high of a number that's going to turn off these phone conversations. And so that's my only concern. Like, are there, are they, if they're willing to move on from Jimmy, make Trey Lance the guy, which they clearly have, if they're going to move on from Jimmy, then don't hold Jimmy for King's ransom and try to get like a second round pick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like right. that right there, you know, no damn well, nobody's going to give you a second round pick for Jimmy Garoppolo. And so. I think- I think the 49ers are straight up going to take the best offer they get for him. And I, and, but at this point, they have to, Mike. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like they have to. They're at the shit's creek with this thing. And there is no way that they're and, – and so not only at the, the shit's creek, they're at the end. Like, it's almost August. August 30th. If Jimmy's on this roster, he gets paid week one money. Yeah, week He's one. He's going to make one week, point. Week, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's gonna make one point nine million, one point whatever the number is, one point something million a week. One point seven or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so that's oh. that, that's the thing. Like it's a week to week check. He can be cut week two and get nothing. He right. wants some guaranteed money. Exactly. You know what I'm so, and so that's what so John. Brian, the, the answer is yes. Those questions could entail that, but they're gonna tell him, "Hey, just give him a new contract. Give him a new contract. You don't want us to take anything because none of it's guaranteed." Imagine the Niners saying, hey, yeah, we'll pay him $10 million. And then the team cuts him after three weeks. Right. That means that the Niners have paid his salary to him play somewhere else. So that team somewhere. Doesn't pay anything. Right. That's not what the Niners are going to do. That's not a bad, that's not a good business move. Right. You know, if you think about, you guys got to think about it from a business aspect too, not just, 
the emotional part where we just want we want to move on from a, there's a business side to it you know i was trying to tell i was talking to peachy like there's there's still a business side to the situation and the 49ers want to be on top when it comes to business and so does the other team like each team wants right. to be on top so you're gonna have to find the middle same way with the debo negotiations they got to yeah. find the middle yeah Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Deshaun Page says, welcome back, Nana Gang. Miami has a better shot with Jimmy because Mike McDaniel knows him very well. Very well. Listen, well, where, well where did I say, Mike? I said, if I'm Mike McDaniel, now I, somebody, uh, I think it was 49 Media in the chat says, he's not the GM. And you're right. But if he's this the offensive if, coordinator and the, in the, in and the, the head, head coach. coach, so he can go to the GM and be like, I need this player. I want this player. Make right. this happen. Yeah. Now, but now here's the thing, right? Was it? What's his name fired because he didn't want to go at tour or something like that? Like, wasn't he fired? Brian, was it? It was something about the situation. Brian Flores. Yeah. I mean, Brian Flores was fired some other shit. But I mean, no, I, that's, what they, that's what they blamed it on. That is what oh, they okay. blamed All right. That's That's – he he said he got fired because they wanted him to tank and he wouldn't do it. Okay, okay. Remember, that was that was a story that came. He's actually suing the NFL, NFL for that. Yeah, NFL this year. Yeah. So I mean, and I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of believe what he was saying. But you, did you know he didn't have a losing season? I know. So okay. why would you fire him? I don't. I'm, I'm not going. All right, but yeah. No, I'm, not, I'm just saying. Like, why? Why are you fired? And it was because they felt like he was uncontrollable. So right. you gotta think about it, man. These owners, these owners and general, men, like it, it, it. Some coaches aren't gonna be puppets, and they they shouldn't be. <laughs> right. And especially now that you're seeing the coaches have a lot of power, and if he didn't have a losing season, then, you know, can you imagine Kyle Shanahan? Like that's why, I, like the Kyle Shanahan. At the end of the day, I know John Lynch runs the business side of the 49ers as the general manager. But Kyle Shanahan make all the football moves, man. Well, and, and that's another reason why Houston is appealing. So you you read this super chat and you said, yeah, but McDaniel isn't the GM. You know who the GM over in Texas in the Texans? Nick Casero. And you know where he came from? New England. And you know where he was when Jimmy Garoppolo was drafted? New England. New England. Yep, he was there. He was part of the guys that said, hey, get him to replace Brady. So those are the two. It's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be interesting, man. Thank you guys for the super chats, though. We do appreciate it. Uh, Wayne, man, I got to talk to you about your guy, man. I saw your name under some of these tweets, man. So I'm, I'm just going to put him up here. I saw your comment. Now, I, I cropped him out. So here's the first one that caught my attention. Now, this one, oh, sorry, wrong one. This one was from uh, a, a week or two. Oh, ago. that's my guy. Oh, I know. One thing I know: there won't be a soul that will say I didn't work my ass off for what's to come. Mm. Now, to yeah. me, I don't know if we discussed this on the show or not, but this sounded like a cop out. A cop hey, out. Yeah. I'll mean? explain because I know I know you're gonna bring the positive side. Let me bring the negative first. So when I first read that, I was like, "Oh, this dude about to get cut." They told him he ain't good enough. He already said, hey, but I, I did what I did. Like, nah, they can't tell me I ain't worked through. Like, you know, uh, uh, like I, I did my thing. Like, whatever. Like, it's not me. It's them type of thing. Mm -hmm. And then today, today, he tweets out, I done stacked so many days of work. I know it's going to pay off. I feel it. It's that time. Now, okay. This one felt different. This one felt different to me, Wayne. This one felt like I'm doing my thing. It's, I'm gonna flourish. The but other that, one felt like it wasn't me. It was it's them. But go back to the other one because I think you're looking at it wrong. The first one. Yes, please. One, one thing, thing I, I know, know is there won't be a soul that say I didn't work my ass off. If you've been following him, you he he's been working his ass off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you've been following him, you know that he's been putting in the work. I don't see this as a cop out. I think what he's trying to say basically is, yo, you can't tell me, you know what I'm saying, that I don't put in the time, put in the work. That's kind of right. what I'm thinking. And then whatever the future has for him is going to be for him. I, I, We can go through this team. He's making this squad, bro. We could do it right now. Let me let me just ask you this. How many defensive linemen do you think they carry? Um, In total? <sighs> 
I would say 11. They did 11 that one year that shot. So I'm the saying ball. 11 this year. No, I'm sorry. They did 12 the one year. They mm-hmm. had 13 linemen. They only cut one. And they shocked everybody. Well, keeping uh-huh. 12 linemen for the original 53-man rosters. Uh, before that, they did 11. I've heard some people saying they only keep in 10. I don't get that. John no, Lynch, he just signed Robert DJ. Like, okay. this, they, they love collecting defensive linemen. So I, I don't see that. But Charles Aminihue, you think he's a lot. If they keep 11, you think he's a lot. Yep. Are we going to play this game? We can play the game, bro. That's why I'm here. Niners depth chart. All right, so I can tell you by heart. All right, so now if we're talking about we talk about edge rushers. So look, you got let's we can start at the top. You got Nick Bosa, you got Samson Ebucom. All right. You got some guys that they signed. You got Kerry Hyder. They re-signed Jordan Willis. I think Jordan Willis might be on the bubble. Like that, like, like there's a bunch of guys. Why not? What has he done that was so productive? That's more like they're all like the same. He he made one big play. Which was the block punt? Now he did get a contract, bro. Wait, bro, do you remember? Do you, do you have remember his stats, bro? Come on, no, man. No, I don't. No, I don't have his stats, bro. Wait, All right, so I'll pull him up. Hold up. But why are you looking that up? Do you remember what Jordan Willis looked like in preseason? You remember he was suspended for the first six games. I do remember he was suspended, and I also know that Charles Menu, who had a strong end to the first season, I mean, uh, the strong end to the season last year. Same thing. Same, 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 same as Samson Ebukam. Like these guys started coming, and so did Jordan Willis. Like they all started coming, and so you got Kamiko Ture. Like that's another guy. Like they, they, they got Jersey. a Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, they got a you bunch. They got a bunch of talent. I like his speed. Um, they got a bunch of talent. I like Kerry Hyder. I think Kerry Hyder is a lock, and I think they're going to be able to move him inside and out. So he's going to actually replace the Arden Key role, like how Arden Key was lined up inside and outside. Mm-hmm. So you're going to see some of that. So they might go with less D tackles. Bro, Nick Bosa, Tere, Ebu Cam, Drake Jackson, mm-hmm. Jordan Willis, mm-hmm. Kerry Hyder. Mm-hmm. Eric Armstead, mm-hmm. Javon Kinlaw. I don't have Eric Kenny Armstead Hill. as an edge. No, no, I'm just counting defensive linemen. Okay, I was just counting D line. So you only because if we're gonna do that, we got to figure out how many how many uh, interior guys we think they're gonna keep. I think they I take just counting linemen. Uh, so like, all right. So I said eleven. So you go five interior and six outside guys. Pick your six. Six outside guys. All right. <laughs> Can I ask you this question before I answer this? Yes. What the fuck is going on with D Ford? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta know. I'm not. I'm not trying to be an asshole, bro. It's but, you're not, yo. Like I don't think anybody has the answer, and they still haven't cut him yet. And it's just like that's what I'm saying. So I'm trying to tell you something, ain't right, yo. Right, so I'll, 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 I'll give you. I'll give you two different answers. All right, so with two different answers, I'm gonna go Nick Bosa, Ebu Cam. You gotta put D Ford in there, don't you? Great Jackson, <laughs> Jordan Willis, uh-huh. D Ford, uh huh, and Tere. That makes Those it are my three. All right, now give me the one without D Ford. You can swap. You can swap for Charles Omenihu. For Omenihu, yeah, yeah. All right, so. This D four guy, yo, he might be drinking robot water. Yeah, you're right, yo. He might be drinking Dasani. He might be fixed. <laughs> yo, like hot, like the 49ers has not cut him yet. I don't, I don't think they're cutting him. And then John, and then uh, um, Kyle Shanahan made it clear as day. He was Kyle, over the, Kyle feels about D four the way Niner fans feel about Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> Like, I, bro, I swear, I swear, he's over him, bro. Like, Yo, I don't expect him to do anything, anything for this team. Anything. I never heard a head coach say that about a dude who's posted nothing but highlights on this. Like, I'm ready. That yo, if that if that was like a a, a sham move by Kyle, just to not talk about it, I would be like, I think you yeah, listen. I tell you what, at the 49ers cut D Ford, he's going to Seattle and he's gonna record like 15 sacks. Yep. And I, I'm just I'm just I'm just, I'm just I'm just it's just the way it is. It's the yeah. way of the world. 
Yeah. All right. And so, look, we can move on. And the only or, thing that's, is we cut him. We're still paying his salary. Maybe maybe he goes to Arizona. They lost Chandler Jones, didn't they? They did. I'm just saying he's going to go to an NFC West team is what I'm trying yep. to say. Sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. <laughs> and he might end up in the Super Bowl champion, the Rams, where he, on, oh. he don't got to play that many games. Oh, they lost. They lost Von Miller, they didn't lost they? Von Miller. Oh, it hurts. So oh, you could you could play y'all don't want the D four game if y'all want to, but when that muff go to one of them teams, yeah, yeah, and so push Trey Lance on his ass because we didn't want to keep him. Yeah, man. I don't want to hear shit. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to hear it. But oh, anyway, man. I like your two answers, and and I, I'm I'm keeping Charles over Tere, and so um. That was my jersey bias. I got no problem admitting that. No, I well, like Teray. But Teray, I think Teray had what? Five, five, five sacks? and a half, right? I like him. Yeah, so, so bias or not, I love that kid. And I, I I just it's just tough. But I all right. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Because yeah. I would take Teray over Jordan Willis. I'm I telling you, like, I think I'm letting the first round bias mess with my head right now. Okay, I, I, think, I'm, I think I'm getting caught up in. I think Jordan Willis was the first round guy, right? Mm. Let me see. Jordan Willis draft. Hold on, let me see. I'm buying. Oh wait, that's draft prospect. I don't want to see that. Jordan Willis. Oh, he was a third round. Third, why do I think first round pick? Oh um, no, he, third round. Smoking that hookah. Third round pick nine. Okay, so that's not that's not all that. Yeah, hey, I don't. Bro. I don't know. If I had him so. I, I like know. Jordan Willis, but I think Teray could give you more, and I think Charles and who can give you more. Now, that's just what I think. Camp is going to dictate what's about to happen for real, for yeah. real. And they signed. They signed. They re-signed Jordan Willis. He could be traded. They they brought his ass back. Like, nah, you're not getting away, bro. And they might trade him though, and flip him. Yeah. Yeah. You know the Niners be flipping. They they will definitely do it, man. They will. I really like Teray, though, man. God, I man, like Teray, bro. Much. I like Teray. That's you know, why. You know, you. This is competition, bro. I, bro, it's gonna be. It's nothing but dogs on this defense, bro. It's nothing but dogs. Nothing but dogs, and I, I. I Drake Jackson, player. yeah, it's nothing but right. dogs, and that's the main reason, Mike, why I want to keep D Ford. Right, like it's just the luxury, though. It's a luxury. It's a luxury. I mean, you should like it's luxury, but can you imagine him shaping and molding Drake Jackson? That's why I want him here. That's what. That's why I said. That's, that's why. That's, that's what exactly I'm saying. why I want him here. Hey, young buck, watch this. All right, now your turn. You go do. Right, like let them alternate, like oh, and then let them okay, and, and then let them pass the torch. Right, right. That's what he, I want. Here, here's the thing about D four. I know a lot of people saying his time is done, and 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 you're right. You're right. The time is done, but they they're still going to have to pay him. So what's paying him two, three, four million dollars to coach a kid? Oh. I know it takes up a roster spot, but what's <laughs> Right, and, and he already, already the money already there is guaranteed. It's guaranteed. Like he's it's guaranteed. Get paid. Yeah, he's getting he's paid. D four is getting paid to two thousand and twenty five, y'all. It's guaranteed. <laughs> he's not going nowhere. Like just, I don't know. I, I, do, I do have another question for you though. What confused me is what Kyle Shanahan said, and so that's why I'm confused. And then after Kyle said it, John Lynch kind of had to go down double behind it. Like, oh well, we're not expecting much from D four. So okay, that you know how they do. They dumb and dumber. I yeah. got a question for you. Okay. Why do we sign Robert and DJ? I don't know. Because Brad, as that 49er said, so I, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't guess, know. Guess how many sacks he's had since Zero. 2018? One. Zero. Since then. I told you it was zero. I said okay, zero. Okay, ready? Watch this. Watch this. How many sacks did he have in 2018? How many sacks he had in 2018? You just mm -hmm. said zero. No, no, I said since. So, like, after. Oh, I said zero. My bad. But, but in 2018, guess how what? many he had? No, no, no. You're doing him a disservice. Four and a half. Okay. Okay. Now, guess how many he had before 2018? I don't know. Zero. 
So zero, four and a half, zero. So guess how many career sacks he got? Four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's play another game. Right, right. He's been in the league since 2016. Guess how many total tackles he has? Uh, 90. 59. Damn. Why is he here, Wayne? Because of Chris Kosarek? So I be whispering because these players be watching our shows, and then I be getting DMs, and they be cussing me out and shit. I and know. I don't, want, I don't want him to hear what I'm saying. But I think he's trash. Uh, it could Chris Kosarek. Okay. So if you've never if, – if, if my thing is this, defensive players, especially in the trenches on the defensive line, they want to play – in San Francisco because of one guy. They know that Chris Kosiri can tap into some type of something and get the players that underachieve to achieve. And we've seen it countless years. It, does not, it happens every year. And people talk, man. And Kerry Hyder was probably like, yo, man, get this guy. <laughs> Bro, all right, man. I'm. I I I, I hope you're all right. I still don't, interior, I still don't get he's it. He's an interior though. lineman. He's an interior lineman. Well, well, is there a setback to Maurice Hurst? Isn't there always? I didn't understand why we brought his ass back this time. Like, what did I he like, do? For I, him? I like Maurice Hurst. Maurice Hurst has been been healthy. Maybe there was a setback with a different. No, I think nothing about Kurt. Which which one of them didn't play last year? Hurst. Uh, Hurst. Hurst. Hurst didn't do shit for us last year, right? Uh, he did, and then he got injured. Oh, I got to look that up. I don't remember Maurice Hurst t- touching the field much at all. He didn't. T- I mean, he he came in. He had a couple of tackles. He, he, had, his- he had. He only played like one, two games. He had two combined tackles. That's including the, the assists. <laughs> yeah, but how many games did he play? In? So, but they like him. They keep bringing him back. That- that's my no. You, that's my point. Because of his, I, don't, I only remember seeing him on the field once, and I'll be completely honest with you. If I'm like being one hundred percent with you, I can't tell you if that was preseason or if that was regular season. I think he was on the so, field regular season, and then he ended up getting injured. And then, two games. So, so let me explain times. something to you because some of y'all don't understand football, and so let me explain to you how it works. So y'all can just have a better understanding on what, what really is going on. So the 49ers got Hurst, right? Now, I'm not saying that players be faking injuries, but I'm saying players be faking injuries. And so it's a it's a contractual type of thing, right? And Kyle Shanahan got a bunch of players <laughs> that he be paying – Peanuts, too, because of the way <laughs> – I like how Mike is doing this. Because of the way how they work them on the uh, on the injury reserve list and this is that and the third. They don't play enough games to accrue a season. Some guys end up on the practice. Like It's so weird how Kyle does it, and this is how Kyle's able to get these players back. And it's kind of like redshirting them. And so I think that's kind of what he did with Maurice Hurst because he was already stacked in the middle. You had DJ Jones, you had these other guys. And so I think what you did with Hurst was you put him on a shelf, you kept him a 49er, you re-signed him, and now he's going to get his opportunity to go out there and do what he does. And so I think that's kind of what Kyle Shanahan does with all his players, Mike. I'm just, shut up, Mike. I can't stand that. I didn't even say a word. You didn't I have to. You be using sign language and body language and languages of other languages. You hate English language, so you didn't want to say a word. I'm just telling you, yo, as Let's people saying F first. I got you. But I guarantee you, man, like when he gets out there on the field, he's going to be a good guy that can spell Guys like Javon Kinlaw that you don't want to overwork early. You're going to need Hurst out there. We don't know what Hassan Ridge. Everybody talk about, oh, Hassan Ridge. You don't know what that motherfucker going to do in San Francisco. Fuck out of here. Yeah, he ain't I, do much I, in Philly. <laughs> like, I, will, I, will say this, though. I haven't. And this is this is what makes me optimistic about Hurst. This, oh, this is going to be a bad comparison. The way that. I don't know if it's John Lynch. I don't know if it's if it's Adam Peters. Who th- There's somebody that really likes this guy. Right, they like him so much 
that they treat him the way that they treated Jason Verrett. Every time Jason Verrett got injured, they'd be like, yeah, one more year, let's try it again. Yeah, one more year, let's try it again. They are holding on to this dude the way that they held on to Jason Verrett. And when Jason Verrett was finally on the field for the Niners, he was a top three corner in the whole NFL. Here's the thing I would say about Hurst. He would have been a first round, he was a first round prospect in the draft. He only fell due to the heart condition that he had. Um, I know people are gonna be like, oh, he's a KU Michigan guy, so Breezy gonna stick up for him. Um he's a force in the middle. He he can rush the passer. He he has DJ Jones straight. He can get to the passer and stop the run. Like that, that's a that's a that's a, that's a Vince Wolforkish type of thing. Like, you know, trait. That that's one guy I know that used to do it like that. Right? He used to stop the pass, stop the run and get to the quarterback, right? And so I think the potential of the kid is what they're going after, and it's not costing them much. Right. And so I right. think sure. that's that's what it is. It's a, it's a low risk, high reward type of thing. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> but man, I got a bunch of other things on the docket. But Wayne, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm tired. I'm tired too, bro. I got to pick up my supervisor in a couple of hours, man. Because oh my gosh. Uh, so I think we should wrap this one up, man. This has been fun, though, man. Um, yeah. You do you? Oh, man, I felt there's a lot. There of it is. Time. There I know, is, I know yeah. you saw the text message. I said, like, it, it's a lot of stuff, but I think I think we should go now. I think we should go. Let me just look at these pictures. Let me see if there's one more. Let's thing. bring them oh. up. Let's, try, let's see if we could bring them uh, a show. Maybe, do I have a gig tomorrow? I'm, I, I, well, let's see if we can bring them a spot-up show. You know what I'm saying? Where we let's just hit it. If you, if you get some time tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, well, I'm kid-free for the whole weekend. Now, 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 before you make that face. We got a new mattress. We got to break it in. We got a brand new. Yo, did you get a um? Did you get the nectar joint? Nectar. Oh, that's the like. I I, I saw the commercials. Yo, my bed. I feel like I'm sleeping on one big fucking pillow, bro. We like, got no. We we got a good one. We got the Sealy. Oh yeah 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 and yeah. But yeah. it's like one of the new Sealys, right? Yeah yeah yeah. Like With the top. foam. And and yeah, it's, it's like foam, no mm-hmm, springs in it mm-hmm, at all. No springs, I, bro. I got this five hundred dollar base, so the head come up and the legs lift. Oh, up you got the let, yeah. And then, so I'm a sweater at night. Like as soon as I get ready for bed, like I, it just it just comes out. Like I'm a, I'm a wet dude. Pause. So there's this three hundred dollar mattress pad for our bed that when you touch it, it's like winter fresh in your mouth, but on your body, like it's cooling. That's it's dope. Cooling sensation. I've never seen anything like it. So, you know, this weekend. Oh, and and it's leaking. No, no, no. no this weekend. Oh, this weekend. weekend. Okay, all right. Not yet. Not yet. Um, <laughs> the other thing is, the guys finish my bathroom tomorrow. Yeah, we, we got the whirlpool tub installed. Nice. Right? I got this. Uh, oh, it's sitting right here. I, I don't want to grab the box. Yes, I do. I'm gonna show y'all this right here. Look, look at this. Let me show y'all this right. I got this for the. Uh, for the bathroom. I hope my cameras and shit don't turn out. My wire sensitive. They be, throwing, they be throwing little hissy fits. So check this shit out, right? Can y'all see this? Can you see that? You know what this is? New tone. This is my dryer exhaust fan. I okay. mean, my, my exhaust in the bathroom, right? This is a Bluetooth speaker. The, oh, light, the lights around the, the frame change colors of that whole spectrum there. Yo, send me right? that. That name so I could go pick one up, bro. Yeah, bro. It's uh it's it's everything that you want. And it sets the mood in the hot tub because we got the jets in the new in the new tub in the bathroom. So the guys finish my renovations tomorrow. That's what's up, bro. The That's kids what's up. go away for the weekend tomorrow. I got the new gazebo out back with the so, uh, we We'll do a show maybe possibly Sunday night or something like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, free, nah, let me know. I'm not free, interested. Know. In, I'm not being no blocker, no cock blocking on my behalf, bro. You gonna go? I want you to get it on. I'm right. He, no, I, we're, right. we're not doing. I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yo, we're not doing nothing this week. I promise. I promise. I promise. We're not doing nothing this week. Let me know, bro, when you free, because we got a couple more topics we got to bring for real. So, okay, all right. They said Mike not available till Monday. 
That, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying, Ron? I was just having a good time with y'all. I'm hey, yo, it's simple stuff. Like my wife got to pick out the whole bathroom, all the tiles, the shower heads, the lights, everything, right? I didn't even pick out the toilet in this joint. You know what I did pick out? What I showed y'all. That I light. Picked out the golf fan. That's it. That's I'm all about I to text you because uh, I want to get my bathroom done, but <sighs> this joint is costing me, man. I think we done put the guy. The guy was charging me ten thousand up seven thousand, uh, but we, but we, that was just labor. We had to buy Light the parts. Yeah, that's everything. what the dude is so trying we, to we do for me too. We about eleven thousand in right now. We about I think 11, that's. That's what the, that was the quote I got. He was gonna do seven. I was like, you know, because we were gonna get we getting rid of the bathtub and gonna do the walk in shower the floor. Mm. I'm like, yo, and so he's like, yeah, but you just gotta buy the stuff. And so I went to go price the stuff. It was like another maybe like you know I'm I'm expensive, so it was like another six grand. Yeah. So it's gonna be about thirteen. Yeah, the bathroom, yeah. fucking bathroom. So kitchens, what we did was, was in bathrooms, bro. They the yeah. most expensive parts in the house. We gave the guy the cash and just gave him our Home Depot card and said, "Just, just run it up." Like, you know? yeah, yeah. And that way we can keep track of everything that he bought and everything. Like for like, sure. I, I saw something on there today that said cherry wood rod or something. Ain't nothing cherry wood in my. Everything is silver and white. So I don't know. I I'm impressing him on that shit. Forty seven dollars for some cherry wood rod. I don't know what that's for. So anyway, all right, we getting sidetracked. Um. Let's get up out of here, man. I, th- I think we had a good show tonight. I want to show y'all one more thing real quick. For everybody out there saying this is me, I disagree with y'all. Nah, I think you look. Can you pull up the lion from The Wiz? They don't know about that, man. Y'all I'm never like, seen The Wiz? Man, I'm go get your culture that. on, y'all. Shoot. The Wiz was better than The Wizard of Oz, but that's just me. You, They're not going to know... <laughs> I'm looking at this. This is funny to me. They're not gonna know what the wizard. They not. They gonna they're just a line from the Wizard of Oz. The same difference. No, but they different. They different dudes. I know. Man. I know. I know. I know. The Wizard of. All right. I'm gonna I'm show. The, I'm gonna show the Wizard of Oz dude. He had a. He had a bow in his head, man. Yo, he because he was a, he was a pussy cat. Oh, I like how you fixed that. That's cool. I, that was dope. See, I don't have that kind of like. Quick thinking, man. yo, you me know. neither, bro. Because they be slaying me on my my show, bro. You I can't do. nothing, Mike. Like anything that they, whatever words, like I can't even say, come out of my mouth. Whatever words I say, like I, I'm just ease on down, ease on down the road. Yeah, man. Ease Ted Ross body that down the road. Ross, Ted Ross, Ted Ross body that joint, man. That was my that was my joint. All right, I'm gonna show Don't you. you, what you uh, 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 Jackson, you know. Oh my god, what a classic! You can't win, but you can't get out of the game. Yo, Mike killed that joint, bro. You gotta tell him something, man. All right, where are my pictures at now? Where they go? That ain't it, though. I'm trying to find it. It's not Kai Pfeiffer. That it's was dope. Cool. How Eminem put his name in the song, too. That was kind of dope. Yo, the picture I just downloaded didn't save me. I don't know where they went. It's all good. Last week. No, it was today. I just did it now. Jermaine now, says your dress look dope. He's a barber. Thanks, Jermaine. I got to get my, my shape up. It's crazy, though. I haven't had my... I need my before. own personal barber, yo. I've been going to the same dude for like 18 years. Yeah, I'm, I I bet. I downloaded since, something. I don't know where it went. How do I... Ever since I bought my own clippers, I just be figuring it out. But I would love to have my own personal barber. Oh, uh, it's saved as a web. Oh, you can just just change, yeah, just change the um. Click on the um name of the picture and like just rename change. it the JPEG, JPEG or something. Like, what do I yeah. name it to? Yeah, just JPEG. Just change the extension. See if it'll change it. It'll work. Then after that, properties. Just right click oh. on it. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's the yarn, right bro. Right click and we rename. Yes, sir. And then change the extension of it from W E P B G Du Bois to dot <laughs> JPEG. Yeah, JPG. Oh, JPG, not JPEG. It doesn't matter. It's the same difference. Oh, I don't know, man. I'm not good at this shit. Let's see if it worked. It didn't work. It's Makai Pfeiffer again. 
It didn't work. Oh, oh wait, I could just do a screen share, right? You could screen share, yeah. I can't All believe right. they don't know who the wizard, the way the the Marcus Ed is like Scar. He don't look like Scar. No, you Ted Ross like as a lion. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do a screen share here. Share screen from the Wiz. Yeah. Put them on some history, man. Boom. Y'all get to see the whole shebang here. There it is. That's Mike. <laughs> that line had the perm, too, yo. Ed Ross was smooth, though. Man. I'm sorry. He sure man. was, yo. He, he bodied this shit, man. He really bodied it. Bro. I can't think of his song, though. The Lion had a dope song. I'm a mean old, I'm a mean old lion. Oh my gosh. How'd that jump go? I can't remember. I can't remember, man. That was dope, though. Man. I'll tell oh. you what, though. Quincy Jones <laughs> is a genius, yo. Because that's all his music. <laughs> that's a bad man right there. We're going to get into that one day. We got. We still got to have our little jingle. Gotta on. Have, oh, I got, I got it. I got it. I got it. Can we end the show on this uh, yeah. one song Thank versus? You. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. And then we one song go. versus R and B. Okay. Chris Brown, run it versus Usher's Yeah. Usher. Mm mm. Mm mm. Usher. Go listen to Run It, bro. And then he hit you with the bridge. Oh, do 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 do. Yo, go listen to that joint, yo. I, I, I know. I know both of these songs very, very, very well. Everybody I, even, I even know the 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 joint with the, the remix, Joel yeah, Santana. You gotta put Joel's, yeah, because you got Joel's in there. Make it pop, honey. Whip, walk, exactly. tick tock, tick Yo, you can't tick tell me that joint not hard, bro. I sure, you know what I mean. What I say, so Babe, she don't stop it? doing it. Yeah, yeah. why are you doing the Joel's head? Why you got the Joel's head going, bro? We can get it in. We can get some friends do it like the Yin Yang Twins start whispering. Let me see y'all. Hey, but yeah, with Ludacris. Luda, come on, man! Don't right. don't do that, man. Listen, I I heard people talking about, and I you smart. You said one song because Usher versus oh, Chris Usher Brown is gonna be a blowout. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a blowout. You were smart though. That, but that those are those are two good ones. I wouldn't be mad at either one of like what the people said. I would people decide. They all but, saying Usher. They all saying yeah. Usher. I, yeah, I got, yeah, got yeah. Was a was a. You got um, one here. I didn't like "Give Me That" better. Run it was dope, yo. Let me see if you can run it, run it. I that know was his first single. No, that right. wasn't his first single. Oh, no. yes, it was. No, no, no. Nah. Oh, yes, it was. Was yes, that his was. first single in 04? Yes. I'm telling you, that was. I his... thought, excuse me, Miss. You talking about yo? Yeah. No, hold on, wait. I'm gonna tell you why I think that was his first one. It might have been. It might have been because it's a club yeah. joint. First single. Let's see what it says. It's run it. Yeah. So this right. is I'm gonna tell you right, this is the only reason I know this. True confession, and then we going home for real. For real. Oh, we got a confessions. We gotta we gotta put a song for oh man. First Yo was dope heard, though. First time I heard this song, I thought Chris Brown was a female. Yeah, so you don't gotta go oh, further. I, I just had this conversation. A lot of people didn't like his voice. It was it too was, high pitched. It was that octave that was just up there, and then the song itself is 15, your man on the floor, bro. huh? He was fifteen. I'm not mad at how he sounded. I'm just saying that when I first heard it, I thought it was a female saying, "Is your man on the floor? If he ain't, let me know." Is your man on the floor? And if he ain't, that's what he is saying, right? Right. Let me see if you can run it, run, run it, it, run it, and deep. I can run, I can it, run, run it, run it, yeah. So I'm thinking that it's a female. Oh, talking. I just I I had it all backwards. So I was jamming to the song like, oh, this is this is it. You know what I mean? Like it's cool. And then I saw the video and I was like, oh shit, Chris is a dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that that's the only reason I know that was. The market said Jewels was trash. Jewels was dope. I like Jewels. He had a couple of dope. I just I liked his. His, his persona, his flow, his flow, flow yeah. His persona, all, yeah. He, he you had, don't he have had to call. Uh, so, so all right, the, the, here's uh, Usher. Usher, even Usher, club bops was grown. Like, 
You don't have to call got a totally different swag, yo. That's from 01, too. Like, like, just the swag of it, like, it's just different. Mm-hmm. I can't even explain it. No, nah, you, know? you don't don't get into it. We can't we can't do this now. Okay. Usher is on a different level, bro. Like, I, I don't think Chris Brown, like, I don't know though, because I don't think I don't think Usher can hang with Chris Brown now. I know that doesn't sound like it makes you sense, but you mean like if they both put out an album now, which one would be yeah, better? Yeah, right like okay. I think Chris Brown's album would because Chris Brown got the languo, it's sung different, like it's it's got a different vibe. I'm not saying Usher can't record it, but I don't want to hear Usher. Usher can't sing a song like "We Can Do It All Night," like. Oh, uh, like, like, like Usher don't got that bot, but Usher got records. Like, I don't, I can't explain what I'm trying to say, bro. <laughs> I was because that, that, uh, that little table, table, what, what's it called? Nah, uh, ain't nothing Usher did new is dope except for Good Kisser, yo. That shit was fire. I can't, I but can't that speak. had a rock feel. I can't speak on his last album because I didn't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't gonna hold this. No. I ain't gonna hold this. All right, y'all, we gonna get out of here, man. Thank y'all for rocking. Is right because Chris be collaborating oh. with the rappers, so his swag on the records, right? It's just different. Yeah, it's yeah. just different. He has, he has a different presence when he when he gets on the records now. But like, Usher, way better singer. I'm sorry. On, on my song, on my uh, so I do a party in the Palisade every Thursday, and I play a background song to set the theme mm-hmm. for the for the for the show. And I just did Chris Brown and Drake. It's funny that you're talking about this. Wow. I did, I did the No Guidance. Okay. You, you know which one that one is, right? Like, mm-hmm. you got it. it. Yeah. 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 So, like, that. that's what I use for it. It, was, it just happened that's to cool. be Chris Brown and Drake. So, I, I, I feel what you're saying, man. It's funny that you say that. That was my song for today. So, that's great. I actually got to upload that. So, all right. I'm getting out of here, man. All right. Y'all know what it is, man. We'll see y'all next time, man. Breezy, thanks for jumping in here, bro. It's always a blast, always a pleasure. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, rate, and review. All that good shit, man. Uh, Breezy, you know what time it is, man. Final thoughts. Let's go home, bro. Prepare for glory. Anticipate pain. But always remain faithful. We out, y'all. Peace. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Deuces was fire, Rod. Yo. Yo. I, yo. We all gas, no brakes, pumped up, no fakes. We spinning, we winning, we high stakes. We never miss, we all makes. Look at us dudes trying to prove, bringing you news with nothing to lose. Mike, Nick, Tony, Wayne, Method Man, we bring the pain. Hey, see, I'ma confess it. We under the pressure. If you looking to find us. Them nothing but niners. Nothing, 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 nothing